The Crown Colony of the Island of Malta and its dependencies commonly known as the Crown Colony of Malta, was a British colony in the present-day Republic of Malta. It was established when the Malta Protectorate was transformed into a British Crown Colony in 1813, and this was confirmed by the Treaty of Paris in 1814. Establishment in early years, 1813-1824 from 1530 to 1798, Malta had been ruled by the Order of St. John. The order was ousted during the War of the Second Coalition and Malta was occupied by Napoleon. The Maltese rebelled after a couple of months of French rule and asked Britain for help. Eventually, the French capitulated in 1800 and Malta voluntarily became a British protectorate. Britain was then supposed to evacuate the island according to the terms of the Treaty of Amiens of 1802, but failed to keep this obligation, one of several mutual cases of non-adherence to the treaty, which eventually led to its collapse and the resumption of war between Britain and France a year later. Malta became a crown colony on 23 July 1813, when Sir Thomas Maitland was appointed as Governor of Malta. That year, Malta was granted the Bathurst Constitution. Malta's status as a crown colony was confirmed by the Treaty of Paris of 1814, which was itself reaffirmed by the Congress of Vienna of 1815. The plague broke out in Malta in March 1813, when a British merchant ship infected with the disease arrived from Alexandria. The disease began to spread especially in Valletta and the Grand Harbour area, and when Governor Maitland arrived, stricter quarantine measures were enforced. The plague spread to Gozo by January 1814, but the islands were free of the disease by March of that year. Overall, 4,486 people were killed which amounted to 4% of the total population. After the eradication of the plague, Maitland made several reforms. He was autocratic since he refused to form an advisory council made up of Maltese representatives, and so he was informally known as King Tom. He formed the Malta Police Force in 1814, while the local Italian-speaking Universita was dissolved in 1819. Various reforms were undertaken in taxation and the law courts as well. Maitland remained governor until his death on 17 January 1824. 19th and early 20th centuries 1824-1914 In 1825, the Maltese scudo and the other circulating currencies at the time were officially replaced by the pound sterling, with the lowest valued coin being a one third farthing coin minted at irregular intervals, the last such issue occurring in 1913, keeping alive the tradition of the Maltese grano equal to one twelfth of a penny. Despite this, scuddy and other foreign coinage continued to circulate in limited amounts, and the last scuddy were withdrawn over 60 years later in October and November 1886. During the Greek War of Independence, Malta became an important base for British, French, and Russian naval forces, especially after the Battle of Navarino of 1827. The local economy improved and there was a boom in business, but shortly after the war ended in 1832, there was an economic decline. The year 1828 saw the revocation of the right of sanctuary, following the Vatican Church State Proclamation. Three years later, the See of Malta was made independent of the See of Palermo. In 1839, press censorship was abolished, and the construction of the Anglican St. Paul's Pro Cathedral began. Following the 1846 Carnival Riots, in 1849 a council of government with elected members under British rule was set up. In 1870 a referendum was held on ecclesiastics serving on Council of Government, and in 1881 an Executive Council under British rule was created. In 1887, the Council of Government was entrusted with dual control under British rule. In 1878 a Royal Commission, the Rousel Julian Keenan Commission, recommended in its report the anglicization of the educational and judicial systems. A backlash came in 1903, with a return to the 1849 form of Council of Government under British rule. Despite this, home rule was refused to the Maltese until 1921, and the locals sometimes suffered considerable poverty. This was due to the island being overpopulated and largely dependent on British military expenditure which varied with the demands of war. 
Throughout the 19th century, the British administration instituted several liberal constitutional reforms which were generally resisted by the church and the Maltese elite who preferred to cling to their feudal privileges. Political organizations, like the Nationalist Party, were created to protect the Italian language in Malta. The last quarter of the century saw technical and financial progress in line with the Belle Epoque. The following year saw the foundation of the Anglo-Egyptian Bank 1882 and the beginning of operation of the Malta Railway 1883. The first definitive postage stamps were issued in 1885, and in 1904 tram service begun. In 1886 Surgeon Major David Bruce discovered the microbe causing the Malta fever, and in 1905 Themistocles Zamet discovered the fever sources. Finally, in 1912, Dun Carm Sila wrote his first poem in Maltese. World War I and the Interwar Period, 1914-1940 During World War I, Malta became known as the nurse of the Mediterranean due to the number of wounded soldiers who came to be treated. In 1919, the Set Junio riots over the excessive price of bread led to greater autonomy for the locals during the 1920s. After Filippo Siberas had convened a national assembly, in 1921 self-government was granted under British rule. Malta obtained a bicameral parliament with a senate later abolished in 1949 and an elected legislative assembly. Joseph Howard was named prime minister. In 1923 the Inu Malti was played for the first time in public and the same year Francesco Behagir became prime minister followed in 1924 by Sir Hugo Pasqual Mifsud and in 1927 by Sir Gerald Strickland. The 1930s saw a period of instability in the relations between the Maltese political elite, the Maltese Church, and the British rulers. The 1921 constitution was suspended twice. First in 1930 32, following a clash between the governing constitutional party and church and the latter's subsequent imposition of mortal sin on voters of the party and its allies, thus making a free and fair election impossible. Again, in 1933 the constitution was withdrawn over the government's budgetary vote for the teaching of Italian in elementary schools. Malta thus reverted to the crown colony status it held in 1813. Before the arrival of the British, the official language for hundreds of years, and the one of the educated elite, had been Italian, but this was downgraded by the increased use of English. In 1934, English and Maltese were declared the sole official languages. That year only about 15% of the population could speak Italian fluently. This meant that out of 58,000 males qualified by age to be jurors, only 767 could qualify by language, as only Italian had until then been used in the courts. In 1936 the constitution was revised to provide for the nomination of members to executive council under British rule, and in 1939 to provide again for an elected council of government under British rule. World War II and aftermath 1940–1947 Before World War II, Valletta was the location of the Royal Navy's Mediterranean Fleet's headquarters. However, despite Winston Churchill objections, the command was moved to Alexandria, Egypt, in April 1937 fearing it was too susceptible to air attacks from Europe. At the time of the Italian declaration of war, 10 June 1940, Malta had a garrison of less than 4,000 soldiers and about five weeks of food supplies for the population of about 300,000. In addition, Malta S air defences consisted of about 42 anti-aircraft guns, 34 heavy, and eight light, and four Gloucester gladiators, for which three pilots were available. Being a British colony, situated close to Sicily and the Axis shipping lanes, Malta was bombarded by the Italian and German air forces. Malta was used by the British to launch attacks on the Italian Navy and had a submarine base. It was also used as a listening post, reading German radio messages including Enigma traffic. The first air raids against Malta occurred on the 11th of June 1940. There were 6 attacks that day. The island S biplanes were unable to defend due to the Luca airfield being unfinished. However, the airfield was ready by the 7th attack. 
Initially, the Italians would fly at about 5,500 meters, then they dropped down to 3,000 meters to improve the accuracy of their bombs. Major Payne stated, after they dropped down, we bagged one or two every other day, so they started coming in at 6,000 meters. Their bombing was never very accurate. As they flew higher it became quite indiscriminate, Mabel Strickland would state, the Italians decided they didn. T like the gladiators and double A guns, so they dropped their bombs 20 miles off Malta and went back. By the end of August, the gladiators were reinforced by 12 Hawker Hurricanes which had arrived via HMS Argus. During the first five months of combat, the island's aircraft destroyed or damaged about 37 Italian aircraft. Italian fighter pilot Francisco Cavallera observed, Malta was really a big problem for us very well defended. On Malta, 330 people had been killed and 297 were seriously wounded from the war's inception until December 1941. In January 1941, the German ex-Flieger Corps arrived in Sicily as the Africa Corps arrived in Libya. Over the next four months, 820 people were killed and 915 seriously wounded. On the 15th of April 1942, King George VI awarded the George Cross, the highest civilian award for gallantry, to the island fortress of Malta, its people and defenders. Franklin D. Roosevelt arrived on the 8th of December 1943 and presented a United States presidential citation to the people of Malta on behalf of the people of the United States. He presented the scroll on 8 December, but dated it 7 December for symbolic reasons. In part it read, Under repeated fire from the skies, Malta stood alone and unafraid in the center of the sea, one tiny bright flame in the darkness, a beacon of hope for the clearer days which have come. The complete citation now stands on a plaque on the wall of the Grand Master. S. Palace on Republic Street in the town square of Valletta. In 1942, the Operation Pedestal Convoy arrived in Grand Harbor, and the following year Franklin D. Roosevelt and Winston Churchill visited Malta. King George VI also arrived in Grand Harbor for a visit. During the Second World War, Hugo Pasquale Mifsud and George Borg Olivier were the only remaining nationalist members of Parliament of Malta. Hugo Mifsud fainted after delivering a very passionate defense against the deportation to concentration camps in Uganda of Enrico Mizzi and 49 other Maltese Italians accused of pro-Italian political activities. He died a few days later. The Allies launched their invasion of Sicily from Malta in 1943. After the Cassiville Armistice in the same year, the Italian fleet surrendered to the Allies in Malta. In 1945, Churchill and Roosevelt met in Malta prior to the Yalta Conference with Joseph Stalin. The 1946 National Assembly resulted in the 1947 Constitution, with the restoration of self-government, and Paul Baffa became the fifth Prime Minister of Malta. Home Rule to Independence, 1947-1964 After the Second World War, the islands achieved self-government, with the Malta Labour Party MLP, of Dom Mintoff seeking either full integration with the UK or else self-determination independence, and the Partit Nasjonalista PN, of Giorgio Borg Olivier favouring independence, with the same dominion status that Canada, Australia and New Zealand enjoyed. Meanwhile, after the 1948 Red Flag Incident, in 1949 Britain signed the North Atlantic Treaty and joined NATO. After the 1952 accession of Queen Elizabeth II, in December 1955 a round table conference was held in London, on the future of Malta, attended by the new PM Dom Mintoff, Borg Olivier and other Maltese politicians, along with the British colonial secretary, Alan Lennox Boyd. The British government agreed to offer the islands three seats of their own in the British House of Commons. In addition, the Home Office would take over responsibility for Maltese affairs from the colonial office. Under the proposals, the Maltese Parliament would also retain responsibility over all affairs except defence, foreign policy, and taxation. The Maltese were also to have social and economic parity with the UK, to be guaranteed by the British Ministry of Defence, MOD, the island's main source of employment. 
A UK integration referendum was held on 11 and 12 February 1956, in which 77.02% of voters were in favor of the proposal, but owing to a boycott by the Nationalist Party, only 59.1% of the electorate voted, allowing the opposition to claim that the result was inconclusive. There were also concerns expressed by British MPs that the representation of Malta at Westminster would set a precedent for other colonies, and influence the outcome of general elections. In addition, the decreasing strategic importance of Malta to the Royal Navy meant that the British government was increasingly reluctant to maintain the naval dockyards. Following a decision by the Admiralty to dismiss 40 workers at the dockyard, Mintoff declared that, "...representatives of the Maltese people in Parliament declare that they are no longer bound by agreements and obligations toward the British government." The 1958 Caravaggio Incident in response, the colonial secretary sent a cable to Mintoff, stating that he had recklessly hazarded the whole integration plan. Under protest, Mintoff resigned as prime minister, while Borg Olivier declined to form an alternative government. This led to the islands being placed under direct colonial administration from London for the second time, with the MLP abandoning support for integration and now advocating independence. In 1959, an interim constitution provided for an executive council under British rule. While France had implemented a similar policy in its colonies, some of which became overseas departments, the status offered to Malta from Britain constituted a unique exception. Malta was the only British colony where integration with the UK was seriously considered, and subsequent British governments have ruled out integration for remaining overseas territories, such as Gibraltar. In 1961, the Blood Commission provided for a new constitution allowing for a measure of self government. Giorgio Borg Olivier became Prime Minister the following year, when the Stolper Report was delivered. Malta became independent on 21 September 1964. References External links British Empire. UK, the Crown Colony of Malta Media related to History of Malta at Wikimedia Commons.